Hey, my friend Chris Tomer. Are you looking for something fun to do this weekend? I know Chris isn't. He's always out enjoying the weather west of town. But for you and me and anybody else, there's lots of fun things to do this weekend. Nate Webb from Loveland is here. He's going to tell us about the Fire and Ice Festival. Good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Thanks for having us in. So, so I came out this morning yeah. moments ago, and there was a gentleman down here with a, with a chainsaw. A very quiet chainsaw. It was like a city chainsaw. <laughs> and he's just grinding away. That's right. So this is Jade Wendell. He's one of our ice carvers at the Fl Loveland Fire and Ice Festival. He is a, an amazing artist. And this is what the festival is all about, is fire and ice. So I've brought down demonstration of ice. And I've also got another one of fire. But Jade has been out here for about a half an hour, 30, maybe 45 minutes, cutting on these two blocks of ice, carving up a couple pieces for us. How big was this block of ice when he started? You know, it started as 300 pounds. It was 30 inches tall, 18 inches wide, and 10 inches thick. He doesn't have a warmer hobby? No. Well, I think this is what he does in the wintertime, right? <laughs> yeah. He's throwing chunks of ice all over the place, but you said it's fire as well. Fire, absolutely. So this no. is also a new part of our competition this year is the fire competition. So we have ice competition and three teams. But we also have three teams doing fire competition as well. So this sculpture is... A big piece that has. Oh, hit yeah, the heat, baby! Hit the heat! So that sculpture is all about love and the, and how broken hearts and how the flames fly through other hearts and how you kind of diverge through relationships. This is from the artist who built that, Drew. Nate, do you need a hug? No, I don't, I'm not good for right now, but maybe in a little bit. We'll maybe. see how this goes, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty awesome. So are we going to see, like, like the fire part? These things are going to shoot out flames? Oh, yeah. This is the best part about the fire sculptures, too, is the performance. So you get to see how the pieces are come together with steel and welding and fire and propane. Hey, hit that And then button. you've got this performance where they oh, blow the fire yeah. out of them. And that's what's really cool about fire sculpture is the dynamicness of that. So you can really blow that off. Now, it's cold out here. There's a lot of like science that goes into how to make the fire work. <laughs> so that first big shot we had accumulated for about 15 minutes, and now we're trying to get that accumulation to go again, but it'll take a little bit of time. So this is up in Loveland. I imagine yeah. it gets pretty packed. It does, yeah. We Last year we think we had about 45,000 people over the four the three days oh my gosh and there's like 18 parking spots up there yeah so give people at home like an idea of where we can see this and how we can park without all the hassle yeah so actually there is what we've counted is almost 5,000 parking spaces within about a 10 block oh, you used your toes too didn't you yeah yeah well maybe but yeah it's a great festival and really parking is the irrelevant part so come down spend time with us it's all uh, Friday Saturday and Sunday starts at 5 o'clock on Friday goes out throughout the whole weekend. Okay, now question time, because we're supposed to get a little weather this weekend. Yeah. We're supposed to get a little snow. That doesn't change things. It does not change anything. This is the best part about this festival, competition between fire and ice. We say some years when it's really warm, fire wins. Some years when it's cold like this, this the ice wins. But it's all about the experience. It's all about the time. It's all about family. Do do we know what this completed ice sculpture is going to be? I, I don't. I haven't seen the drawings, so I'm not sure. He looks incredibly cold. <laughs> That's the best part about this, is this show of that. Getting the ice thrown all over you in your face, you're covered in it by the time you're done. Yeah, we love it. Just it just keeps going and going and going. How many sculptures all together are you going to have? So we'll have nearly a dozen. Actually, I think a dozen at least, maybe a little bit more. And then uh, we'll have four of these big fire sculptures. This is one of them. That's not even ha completed yet. There's lots of surprises even with this one. I'll tell you what, that thing kicked out the heat. So again, the event is this weekend. You can find more on the on-air section of our website at kwgn.com. But guys, I got to tell you, this is pretty awesome. They did say I can hit the button. Do I get to hit the button? Oh Heck yeah! Woohoo! Sorry, Nate. All right, are you ready? I'm going to send it back inside. Oh, my gosh, this button's like three pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, wow. yeah. Look at that. Feel Looks the Looks like the Olympic torch. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> All right, Jeff, thanks, man. His backyard grill. <laughs> All right, listen, I am super pumped for this next interview because I.